Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got quite a dull overcast day today, so it's ideal for woodland photography. And I thought what I'd do for a change is, uh, rather than run around taking lots and lots of different pictures of lots of different trees, I thought I would introduce you to one of my favourite trees up in the Lockhart Forest. And, uh, I don't know what that was. That tree has been the star of several photo shoots I've done up here with uh, models and stuff like that. Uh, uh, no, obviously the models were the stars, but you know what I mean. This could well be a video where I do nothing but shoot that one tree from lots of different angles. So if that's the case, I'll probably call the video something like uh, how to work a scene or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean it's extremely photogenic and it? it's ridiculously photogenic. So. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on this tree. Yeah, let me just talk you through this composition. Basically, the main the main subject is this tree here. But I am including the path that's kind of snaking around the tree and then disappearing off into the, the distance over there. We've got these uh, darker branches kind of framing the the tree on either side, and then I'm including these bright brighter ferns and the trees in the distance and it looks quite nice but I think what I might do is uh, is move slightly because from where I, I'm shooting just now the tree in the background there is is being blocked so I may get a little bit lower try and get that other tree into the image as well and uh, that should hopefully help emphasize the the path as well Okay, so uh, what do I know, right? Uh, turns out, I think the best composition isn't the one that I was going for. Um, I've switched the camera, let me just show you this here. I've switched the camera around to portrait mode. And uh, I had been struggling to include this path and the trees when it was in uh, landscape format. Right, this looks like an even better image. Uh, what I've done is I've moved back a little bit. I can now, as you can see here, include these darker foreground branches. You actually have the path coming in even more, weaving down to the side of the frame and then round this tree. I still have the ferns. I still have the trees in the background. But I think that looks a lot more pleasing. So I just need to play around a little bit with exposure and I'll have a wee look at the the framing of the shot but I like that, I like that a lot I think that might be the shot I settle on yeah, happy with that I think I'll, I think I'll move on. Yeah, again, I think portrait. Right, uh, <laughs> I think this might be an even better shot. I've moved slightly to the side, and I've now got that tree in the background uh, framed by the branches of this foreground tree and the background tree there. And. Uh, yeah, that's looking nice. The only thing that's missing is a little splash of uh, sunlight or some mist or something like that. Or some autumnal colours. I think I might come back here in a month or so when the leaves are starting to change. Because I think this is a nice shot. I think I really like this shot. Um, Right, I've come round the other side because I liked the way the light was hitting this side of this tree. We're still on the same tree, I'm afraid. Uh, I kind of liked that, especially with the darker background that kind of stood out. And I'd noticed this huge moss-covered boulder here. And 
I was kind of struggling for a composition that would include both, but I remembered I had my 16mm lens with me and uh, I framed this up so that I've got the boulder. Unfortunately, it's not all of the boulder, but it's, it's most of it. I focused on that, uh, stopped down to F10, which I think I'll drop to F11. Try and maximise the depth of field and uh, yeah, I'm just going to take that shot just now. Yeah, I'm liking this. I like the way the light is just spilling down this one side of the tree and the rest of it, including the forest behind, is in shadow. It's a nice contrast that with the light. Just move slightly to the side here to see if we can get a better view of the base of the tree. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I like this view. You've got the this fallen branch here, which is providing a little bit of foreground interest, along with these ferns here. And then the path kind of weaves its way around, stopping at that tree, which is standing out against a very back background. So the, that contrast there really helps the, the tree stand out. So I'm going to shut up and grab this shot and uh, see how that looks. Right, um, I think that's it for the distance shots. I'm going to get in close now and see if we can grab some uh, some macro uh, up close uh, shots of the bark and the moss and those ferns around the base. So we'll see if we can grab something like that. So that's it for the video, um, I'm going to stay up in the park and shoot um, somewhere else now but I'll leave that for another video, uh, two for one today. Uh, so yeah, catch you next time, cheers, bye. Right, uh, so much for my plan to go and do a second shoot. Uh, I noticed earlier when I was out that my little DJI Osmo Pocket, uh, which is one of the cameras I use for recording video, uh, it was cutting out after seven seconds of recording and I couldn't work out what the problem was. So I switched over to my backup camera, which is the one I'm shooting on just now. But unfortunately that wasn't fully charged and the battery life on these cameras is it's pretty bad so uh, I think I'm about to run out of battery I have I think worked out what was wrong with this one it's fully charged but the I put a new SD card in it the other day there uh, a 512 gigabyte micro SD card I figured that would be great in 
for, for video and then I could use it for a lot longer or at least until the battery ran out but um, on checking the specifications which I guess I should have done first uh, it turns out that these little cameras only support up to 200 and uh, well, what would that be? 216 they only support up to 216 gigabyte cards so I think the card's too big for it so short point of this story is uh, I'm not going to do a second shoot today I'm going to head back quickly recharge these because I'm planning on doing another walk tomorrow um, change, uh, get another SD card for this and uh, get started on the edit so uh, yeah anyway <laughs> see you next time, cheers bye